Welcome back to Fast Money. We've got a developing story for you. Hackers are targeting the coronavirus vaccine supply chain. Eamon Javers joins us now with more on that. Eamon. Yeah, Melissa, that's right. This is a new report out just today from IBM's X-Force threat assessment team. And what they were looking at here is a, a bio a, a hacking attack against the process of storing the COVID vaccine. What they're saying is that hackers actually impersonated an executive from uh, Hire Biomedical. That's a known company inside uh, the cold storage effort to store and transport vaccines. They sent phishing emails to organizations involved in the storage and transportation of vaccines. They targeted executives in sales, procurement, technology, and finance. That What they're saying here, IBM's security team, is that this likely came from a nation state trying to gather information on COVID processes. Now, I asked Nick Rossman of IBM's X-Force team today what the worst case scenario is and what he's really worried about. He told me that his ultimate concern here is something that you might consider COVID terrorism. Take a listen to this. They're trying to replicate the knowledge of the cold chain, how the refrigeration works, what sort of manufacturing is required, or potentially also to conduct a disruptive or destructive attack, preventing the refrigeration from occurring or somewhere in the life cycle uh, so that these vaccines spoil and you know the public perception and trust in the vaccine gets lost. So what he's saying there, Melissa, is that this attack was not designed to sort of raise money. So he doesn't think it's cyber thieves out there. He thinks it's a nation state intelligence service because it's gathering information. And what they might do with that information, he worries, is actually use it to disrupt the distribution of the vaccine worldwide, attacking that cold storage process in some way to discredit it and cause people to be worried that these vaccines aren't safe next year. The Melissa? alarm, I mean, the whole thing is alarming, but I think what is more alarming is that uh, this sector, this industry, this is not the first time that vaccine makers have been targeted. I mean, over the summer, Eamon, weren't there hackers tied to China who were hacking into Moderna to try and get some information on the vaccine development there? Yep, exactly. And, and that effort to gather information, we've seen it each step of the way about how the vaccine was going to be made and now, in this case, about how it's going to be distributed. Uh, and the question is, how are these nation states using this information? Is this just them getting a jump on the research? Look, it's easier to steal R&D than it is to develop it yourself, right? So if you're a nation state that's panicking that you don't have the know-how intellectually to get this vaccine uh, up and running or to get it out to people once you have it, uh, then you can steal that from the West. And that seems to be what's happening here. It's very early, but that's the indication that we got from IBM today, Melissa. Eamon, thank you. Eamon Javers. So what a what a fascinating yeah. story here. And of course, the big question is, even if we found out who did this, who was behind it, what nation state, what would the U.S. response be? Because historically, there has been no response to this sort of attack. Um, Dan, what do you make of the story? Interesting story. I mean, we talked about it on our call earlier. It's a couple movie plots here. We have Mission Impossible 2. We also have The Saint with the cold storage here. Um, and, you know, I just have to bring that up. Um, no, I, listen, I think there's a lot of different ways. You know, if you think about it, I don't know what the retaliation would be, um, but you do have a situation where there's no shortage of bad actors that could look to disrupt the, the logistics and the distribution um, of this thing. And it goes back to what we were talking about in the A block here. I mean, it is not a done deal that we are going to get seven and a half billion people inoculated from this virus over the next year. So there's just a lot of logistical complications here and hackers um, just pose another threat here, obviously. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.